parents used to know people are strangers hey guys um i'm beth and i'm from england and i'm currently studying in australia um the one thing that i miss most about home really apart from family and friends um is the great coffee culture that they have there so um five minutes from wherever you live there'll be a really cute cafe um independent cafe and um, where they sell really nice uh, coffees cakes i mean it's not like a chain and so yeah it tastes so much better um, and a lot of English people like when they want to meet up with their friends instead of like going to each other's houses or the cinema or for a walk or whatever we always go for a coffee well that's my friends anyway um, or we go for lunches and I, I just really like that about um, English culture um, also what I found is when you meet new people in England um, you have a handshake, you have a hug, a kiss on the cheek, and it sort of like breaks the ice straight away. Whereas like in Australia, um, people are like, how are you going? Can't do the accent, but um, yeah. Um, I, have no idea. I do sort of like um, English weather sometimes. I also love Australian weather and that's part of the reason why I'm here, but I like wearing jumpers. Love it. Love wearing loads of layers and not caring about what you look like because you're cosy um australia love it because there's beaches everywhere um and they're absolutely gorgeous um you know there there's white sand really clear sea um you can go snorkeling and see like beautiful you know sea life <laughs> um so yeah um you can't get that home obviously like the beaches at home absolutely freezing cold the wind is terrible your, your hair's in your face your hair's in your ice cream your ice cream's probably fallen on the floor there's no sand it's all pebbly um and yeah it's just generally quite unpleasant <laughs> um compared to here and also like Australian people are like really chilled so the pace of the city here is very different to home so at home everybody's like got um you know gotta be somewhere everyone's late everyone's rushing um, and over here everyone is super chilled like it's as if they haven't got anywhere to be and I kind of like that you know I need that in my life like I need to relax a bit more when I'm running late So my name's Dom, I'm 24. I currently live in Sydney, but I'm from two hours north of Sydney um, in a town called Newcastle. Um, I'm currently on exchange um, at Iowa State University. Um, and I study engineering and finance, but I'm just doing finance subjects out here and I graduate in May. So the best thing about Sydney, or the best thing about back home is definitely the, the environment because we literally, like Sydney has got to be the world's greatest capital city. Like we're a city of five million people, but we live like 10 minutes walk away from Bondi Beach, Coogee Beach. So we get up every morning and go for a swim or a surf every after, or even like during the day when we've got class going on, we'll, we'll leave class if it's nice weather or the surf's up and we'll go for a surf and go for a swim. And then if we need to go into the city or downtown, we're just a 10 minute bus ride away. And so that's what's so good about Sydney and the, and the weather. It, you never get the extremes like you do out here. You never get the too cold or the... Well, you get super hot, but yeah, it never gets below sort of like 55 degrees, which is awesome, even in the middle of winter. So you can always swim and get to the beach and be outside. My name is Adam Parker Goldberg. I'm a senior studying industrial design here at Iowa State University. Um, I'm also originally from the Midwest. I grew up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, just about two hours away. And last spring, I studied abroad in London, England. All right, some of the things I really enjoy doing here in the Midwest, growing up and still today, um, are running around. I really enjoy kind of exploring while running, and I feel like it's a very safe area to do that. So in high school, I was heavily involved in show choir, and I know that's kind of a uniquely Midwestern, uh, at least emphasized within the Midwest, kind of singing and dancing uh, and competing through that. And then also just in general, um, I'm really into like, food, and so I enjoy going to like farmers markets and uh, supporting local businesses and local food ventures, and especially like coffee shops and cafes. Um, so despite growing up in not necessarily small towns, but more smaller midwestern towns, I really love metropolitan areas, and so I absolutely loved living in London. 
uh, what I kind of thought of it as is basically the accumulation of all the big cities in, in, the, in the United States. So there was like different hubs or different districts, um, like neighborhoods basically, um, that I would say were, are comparable to like in one place you're in St. Louis and then you walk uh, to the next neighborhood and you're in New York City where you're in Los Angeles and they're all within one central hub. It was just this giant city um, comprised of a bunch of smaller cities. Another really big thing for me was that London is such a modern city, but it has such a rich history that you'll see like a castle next to like this giant skyscraper. And it's like one of the like coolest things about the city is that it has all this history and these historic places, but then also all this like technological advance.